sorry, it's DJ. Hello everyone! Are you ready to learn today? Yes! Today we're going to learn and explore Science 5 about describing the motion of an object by tracing and measuring its change in position over a period of time. But before that, please prepare the following materials. Observe this one. What does it show? Great! It shows motion or movement. Look at the pictures. Describe how these things move. There are forces that make objects move like wind, water, gravity, and magnetism. Motion is a change in position measured by distance and time. It may be defined as change of an object's position as caused by force. When there is movement, there is motion. There can be no motion without a force or a set of forces. Forces, therefore, initiate and influence motion. A person's motion, a bicycle's motion, a car's motion, and train's motion. A reference point is a fixed place or an object used to determine the position of an object. Through a reference point, one can tell whether an object has moved or not. This man is moving past the tree. Our tree is our reference point, which shows that this man is having motion. The reference point is an object that seems to stay in one place as compared to the object moving. Our tree is not going anywhere, but it lets us see that the man is moving. In this case, our tree is the reference point. And our, which shows us that the man is experiencing motion. Distance is the measure of how far or near two points are from one another. A standard unit of measure makes it easier for scientists and other people to understand each other's data. It is measured by using tools such as meter stick, tape measure, measuring wheel, and ultrasonic distance measurer. The metric system is the world standard for measurement. It is used by scientists throughout the world. In the metric system, the standard unit of measurement used for distance or length is meter. For activity one, based on the picture below, Describe whether the following is distance, motion, reference point, or time. Let us check your work. Number one, that is motion and number two the answer is time number three that is reference point and number four we have distance and five motion if you got it right high five grade five eight for the next activity let's try Complete the graphic organizer being described by choosing the correct word inside the box.
Okay, let's check your work. An object moves if there is force that is exerted on the object. A reference point is any stationary object that can be used to describe the change of position of the object. And the change of position of an object over time with a reference point is called motion. The motion of an object is described in how fast or how far it moves through its distance. If you got it right, congratulations! Or activity 3, direction, choose the correct word being described in a sentence. Select your answer from the box. Time's up. For number one, the standard unit of measurement of distance or length in metric system is meter. Two, meter stick, tape measure, and measuring wheel are some of the standard tools in measuring distance. Three, ruler or meter stick are the appropriate tools for measuring distance. Four, the measure of how far or near two points are from one another is called distance. 5. The metric system of measurement of distance is used in the world. 6. Objects need force to be in motion. 7. Objects in motion always change in position. 8. Anything that stays stationary can be used as reference point. 9. A reference point can tell if an object moves. 10. A reference point must move along with the object in motion. You got it right? Congratulations! What have you learned? Direction must the right picture from each statement being described then put check if the object is in motion and cross if not. Let us check your work. Number one, pulling a card is letter C. And it is checked because it shows motion. Two picture frame hanging on the wall that is letter D. And it is crossed because it does not show motion. Three, a boy running that is letter A. And that is checked because it shows motion. 
for pushing a tree is letter E. And it is checked because it shows motion. And number 5, a rolling ball that is letter B. And it is checked because it shows motion. If you got it right, congratulations! I hope you learned a lot from today's lesson. Thank you for watching. See you again next time. Bye!